Listen, I get it. Insurance is boring. Insurance is slow moving. It's an industry that takes its own sweet time to do just about anything. And keeping up with modern technology is no exception. In this video, I've got a little tough love for any company or individual who serves the insurance industry who also makes any kind of app or software that adjusters use, whether in the field or at the desk. And you need to hear this. It's better that you hear it from me, starting now. You're watching The Property IA Show. This video is sponsored by Kaplik. Are you an insurance adjuster? Then you need insurance adjuster. Learn all about the coverages you need from e &O to general liability and even commercial auto in this free guide at cplic.net slash adjuster TV and by Adjuster Pro. Most IA firms won't even look at your resume until you've got some state adjuster licenses. Get your licenses and maintain them with CE at adjustertv.com slash adjuster pro. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. It'll get you off Santa's naughty list. You know, I've been in this industry for a long time. I've worked for several different firms and carriers and have used a few different types of software, mainly Xactimate, but also some mobile apps and other pieces of software that are supposed to help us be more Productive. And just to say up front, in total fairness, what I'm going to talk about in this video isn't really confined to the insurance industry in general or even the independent claims industry in particular. What I'm talking about is my experience as an adjuster using a piece of software or several different pieces of software and maybe mobile apps in the claims process. Pieces of software that try to do a bunch of different things all of them pretty badly. So what's the point of software? We're told that computers and software are here to make our lives easier, right? How come it doesn't feel that way? How come it feels like the second we crack open our computer or our phone to work on a claim that we're actually standing in front of a huge stack of dirty dishes from a wedding and we have to do them all by hand? Why is that? I've got a theory. Here's my theory. Clunky, outdated, counterintuitive software exists because one, it's easier to patch up and keep using the old software than it is to develop new programs and tools that do a better job. And to be fair, that's not necessarily a bad reason. Two, all of the systems, including all the training and the workflow processes at a company are gonna revolve around these tools. Three, it's cheaper to keep using the old and busted software that everybody knows how to use already than it is to either hire a new developer or build out an in-house software development team. And four, software designed for users never asks the users what they need the software to do in order to be more effective at their job. I know of no instance where adjusters are asked for their input when software is being made. Could be wrong. I gotta be truthful and I have to call out Verisk, a company that makes Xactimate, Got to call out State Farm, Liberty Mutual, Accurance, the company that makes Settle Assist, and innumerable smaller developers who come up with an idea for something that they think is going to help us or help them and make them some money. Again, and there's nothing wrong with that. Money is the fuel that drives innovation and commerce. Whole other video. So the next question I have is this. If huge companies like Verisk, State Farm, et cetera, have all these resources and money to create software, why do we even have Subtle Assist? Why do we have all these little tiny developers creating apps for labeling photos and scheduling and all that? These small developers are seeing a need. They're seeing that something is missing from some other piece of software and they're trying to fill it in with their own app or service. I'm always gonna keep coming back to this. What's the point of a computer? My belief, and again, I could be totally wrong about this, but isn't the point of a computer to automate repetitive tasks and allow us to do higher quality work faster? Why then do these companies hire people and then spend tens of thousands of dollars on training them on this clunky old software that slows them down and makes them less effective in the field? Ergo, costing them even more money in lost productivity. And not only that, but the cost to rehire and retrain new people because turnover is so high, again, because the job is too hard or it's too overwhelming because they have to learn all of these computer systems that don't really talk to each other very well and that are hard to get around in and that are counterintuitive and have a user interface and a user experience that just doesn't make any sense, right? We're talking about the same companies where some bean counter in a cubicle 
figures out some way to save hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars a year by retraining office workers to put their pencil on the other side of the desk to improve efficiency. I mean, let's be completely honest here. Everybody talks about lean at these companies. If you don't know what lean is, if you've ever heard the term continuous improvement, you are likely listening to somebody with a superficial understanding of lean. Big companies will spend piles of money to hire these Six Sigma nerd ninjas to, to redo how their employees' desks are organized or where the break rooms are in relation to the bathrooms, all in an effort to save money by being lean. Then literally nothing is said about the 57 steps that an adjuster has to go through just to set up a new claim in all of the different clunky systems. I don't want to go too far off the deep end with this, but the bottom line is that I personally don't think that all of the money and resources that companies throw at being more efficient is thrown at the true heart of the problem. That is just plain terrible software and systems. The software that we use as adjusters, and yes, I'm including Xactimate in this, is designed and built by coders, none of whom could tell you the difference between a deductible and a duct at the request of people in leadership roles at these companies, again, most of whom have Ivy League degrees and have never had a callus on their hands from doing regular work like us regular folks out here. I have nothing against these people at all. This is absolutely not any kind of a class warfare rant. This is a rant against people with no claims experience at any level who say to other people with no claims experience, we need software for our claims adjusters, but we also wanted to do these 31 other things that really have nothing to do with the claims process. We really don't care what it looks like or how intuitive it is or how easy it is to use just as long as it does the things on this list here. Here's some money make it happen. Okay, I've said my piece, I've expressed my frustration. How about a solution? I believe, and again, it's very possible that I'm way over the ends of my skis on this one, but it seems to me that the biggest opportunity to move the needle the most is in the user interface and the user experience at the user level. What does that mean? That means, first of all, claims is not rocket science, okay? Second, Adjusters don't need all the bells and whistles that are taped and stapled onto all this clunky old software. What adjusters need is a simple tool that allows us to collect data quickly and accurately and to process that data in the form of an estimate, again, quickly and accurately. We need to be able to explain the facts of the claim, what we did, what we didn't do, what we said, all that quickly and accurately. And that's about it. A simple tool like this will have a user experience that will help newer adjusters understand what the next step in the process is while they're working through the claims process. It will also be powerful enough to be used at high speed by power users. What do I mean by that? I'll give you an example. Back in the early days before version 28, Xactimate had keyboard shortcuts in the desktop version for not only getting around in Sketch, but for literally every other thing that you could think of to do in the software everything. Back then, you didn't have to know which sub, sub, sub menu to navigate to in order to do something in the software. You just hit the keyboard shortcut for that action and it popped up right on your screen, ready to go. A power user could get through their claims workflow in a fraction of the time, almost without touching the mouse or the mouse pad. I'm telling you, the second you have to mouse around the screen, you're losing moments of your life. It drags out the process immensely. Doesn't seem like it would, but the slowdown I experienced when they took away all of my keyboard shortcuts was significant. I asked them why they did that to their face. And they said to my face, well, because we can't have shortcuts like that in the web version and the mobile versions of Xactimate. We didn't want to confuse anybody, so we just took them out of the desktop version. Come to find out, People who use the desktop version of Xactimate 28 were not using the mobile or web versions. So are the shortcuts back? Of course not. In fairness to Xactimate, it's a very powerful piece of software and it is to me still the most intuitive way to quickly create a building estimate. And I suspect that the developers are beholden to their biggest clients, who by the way happen to be big insurance companies and they just can't change the program willy nilly because of something I want without getting in big trouble. I get it. Maybe the industry just moves too slow. I can't pick on them too much. There are a great bunch of folks who've been dedicated to serving the insurance and restoration industries for decades. But in the end, I'm doubtful that we'll see meaningful change simply because of that strong resistance to change. However, with the tech we have these days, the industry needs a change. 
the systems and software have piled up on each other so much and have been patched up so much that it's made the job of claims adjuster much, much harder than it needs to be. And this is what I really, really wanna to get to in this video. It's the truth, ask any old veteran adjuster. Back in the day, we could hand write a claim start to finish with photos and everything faster than we can today with all of this poorly conceived software. That is a fact. So why not start at the bottom? Ask us, the people who use these tools day in and day out, ask us to design software that will make it easier to train us, cheaper also, make the job more enjoyable so that we don't quit. And most people quit because of the workload, a workload created by bad software. And that makes us more effective in the field so that we can take care of more insureds with a much higher level of quality and less stress on our part. It sounds to me like a win, 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 win. Okay, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love riding along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself, Chris Stanley from IAPath, Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School and others show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know that it's hard to find a working adjuster who will let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at adjustertvplus.com. And stay tuned for the next video where we uncover an assistant that you already have and you don't even have to pay for them. Also, don't forget that the annual 2021 NACA convention is coming up fast. I'm gonna be there along with several dozen IA firms and other industry folks, and it's gonna be a blast. If you're serious about networking in this industry, this is by far the best event of the year to attend. If you can only attend one, come to this one. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, including many more videos, free tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to adjustertv.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Oh. Just kidding, it's fake. <laughs> <laughs>